Welcome back to 24.Winter Today I am doing some work on my solar system here um, This provides power to the cabin Just as I was about to start I, rem I recall that Earlier this month I heard that a lot of persons were getting some massive um, light bill And I'm saying Why aren't these people considering solar? Um, and we, we kind of understand that there may have been some, some miscalculation but still, you know, that's something that we still have to think about. So, what I realize is that whenever I ask people about solar, the first thing they say is that it's so expensive, right? And on first glance, depending on how you're looking at it, if you want to completely go off grid, it may seem a little bit expensive. But I decided that I want to think about that a, a different way, right? What I said was, I look at my current monthly bill. And then I say, all right, if I, if I buy enough solar to cover all of, all of uh, my needs, then I can pay off for the investment in over two and a half years. But then I said, but, but I've always wanted to do, get some additional equipment. So for example, if you're thinking about getting like an air fryer, if you don't already have one, you want to get um, AC, air conditioning in your home, you want to probably switch from gas to electric stove, uh, you want to get a dryer or a washing machine, then you have to kind of, you want to look and estimate what that additional cost would be if you stay on your your current path of using, you know, electric electricity from your provider, right? So uh, when I looked at that and I kind of did an estimate, I'm going to conservatively say I would double my my utility bill. So if I think about it that way, I, I would say it, uh, the payoff would be less than two and a half years. Let's say a year and a year and a half, right? Or just over a year. And so that is the way I looked at it. But even thinking about it that way, the initial cost can st still be very expensive depending on you know, how big your, your um, layout would be, right? But how about looking at it in installments? Start with a piece and then add additional as you go along. And you'll see your utility bill going down a little by little by little until eventually you're fully off utility power. That's the way I looked at it, right? And the thing is, it's very easy to start small, right? This is a small installation and I did it piece by piece, you know? I'm gonna go through the pieces that you'll need to start your, your own solar system. There are four main things that you'll need especially if you're going to go small and you want to do a DIY do it yourself right and it's quite straightforward and, and simple no I'm not an expert I'm not an electrician uh, and if you're going to do something like this you probably want to consult with a, a, a certified electrician okay but I'm going to tell you what I did and I have been um, talking to electricians about you know how to get the setup done the, the, the things you're going to need are not in any specific order of importance um, you're gonna need solar panels and the solar panels you would normally mount them somewhere where you can get a lot of Sun hitting those panels alright so it could be on your roof if your roof have shade or trees over it you probably install it on your you know in your yard but somewhere that is getting Sun and you want to get Sun for the majority of the day as much as possible but in the morning getting some Sun and in the evening you're getting as it gets to the evening you're getting sun especially in the middle of the day you're getting a lot of sun right and that's where you get the maximum amount of power coming through your from your panels now once you have captured all that energy from the sun you need to get it you need to start using it but before you start using it you, you need to get what they call a charge controller and this I have this charge controller here I, in fact I have two one here and one here right and what a charge controller does, it collects the energy that is being generated from the solar panel, right? And that is the energy you want to use in your home, right? Now, once you have collected the energy, you can either send it directly to the appliances, etc., or you may want to store it inside of a battery. You want to store it so you can use it going forward. And if you just look down a little you'll see I have two batteries here 
um, one two and these are th this is where the, the, um, the energy is stored right there are m a different type of batteries you can get um, sometimes person want to use a car battery or they find an old battery somewhere from like a forklift or a tractor something that pay really big heavy batteries those can be used so you just need to get some batteries all right that you can work with so these are 12 volt batteries I have two 12 volt batteries and they are 100 amp hour batteries so in total I can get about 2.5 kilowatt of power stored in these batteries now once it is stored in the battery so remember you can the energy can go directly from the, the controller the charge controller and go to the appliance that you want to use or if you want to store that extra energy that you're not using during the day and you want to use it during the night comes to the battery right now how do you get it from the battery to the appliances what you need to have here is what they call an inverter right so the inverter is here and this here is a 2000 watt inverter and it's a, what they call a pure sine wave um, inverter right what this means is that I can have enough appliances um, connected to this that is not exceeding a total um, usage of 2000 watts at any one time right the more you're consuming the energy from the battery the shorter it will last all right so if you are using something that is pulling a hundred watts then I'm getting about 25 hours right of, of, of uh, power coming from the batteries right so this is the basic setup um, the panels that you would mount on either roof or somewhere where you get sunlight the charge controller that collects the energy from the panel right and um, some storage which is battery where it stores the energy that is collected from the solar and also an inverter that now distributes the, the, the power to your appliances and this is this inverter has some power outlets at the top that I can plug things into right it has three power outlets and it has a USB connection as well and um, these are reasonably priced and these are and you can get them really really cheaply on uh, on a purchase on the internet or you know from you know Alibaba or Amazon etc so I would say if you're really contemplating going and you don't want to take that big hit you probably identify like a couple of appliances in your home probably some fans and or you know some small appliances to start so you start small yeah get a small inverter get your charge controller a battery or two and you can start running those things on your home and, and then once you start to understand it then you start to grow a little a little by little each time you want to increase your consumption of solar energy of course to connect to have all of this working together you're going to need different types of cables right so you have some cables here these cables take the energy from the panel sends it into the the charge controller right and these cables take the these other cables take the energy from the charge controller into the battery and then back out you have cables all over the place right right now mine is a mess and it's something that I need to clean up but today my focus is and something that I I should have done from a long time ago is install some breakers right so I have some 20 amp breakers that I need to install now, as I say, I'm not an expert. I got some advice. This 20 amp breaker will be sufficient for me at this point. But as I grow, I may need to um, adjust how I'm um, connecting these things, right? So it's important that if you are not clear or if you are a little bit hesitant, do your research. There are a lot of YouTube vid videos out there that you can watch and you can talk to an electrician to make sure that you're getting things done right. So be careful. All right, so I'm going to install this today. Now, as you do your research, you will find that as your your needs grow and you want to grow bigger and bigger, you may have to increase the size of your inverter or your charge controller. And in some cases, in, increase the size of your batteries. But there's also inverters that are all-in-one that has inverter, 
and and charge controller built in so as you get bigger and bigger then you can migrate or or graduate to these bigger systems so i think it's a it's a it's a good idea to take advantage of the sunlight you'd be, you'd be surprised the amount of energy that, that hits your roof every single day from the sun that is just going to waste right so if you can take advantage of it that would be great and guess what if you have young ones i mean these are good projects that they can work with with some guidance of course supervision and as i said talk to an electrician so this can really get them fired up about renewable energy right so let me get to work next time all the best with your solar installation bye